Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Hub. So today in this video I'll tell you about the implicit functions. So what are implicit functions? Now functions are always of two kinds. One is called implicit and the other one is called explicit. Right? So now from a function, suppose if I give you a function say x plus y is equal to 2. Right? So from here, you can either extract y in terms of x or x in terms of y. It is very simple. So if I write y, it will become 2 minus x. And if I write x, it will become 2 minus y. That means either of the variables are explicitly expressed in terms of the other variable. Right? But on the same note, if I give you an equation like this, x square y plus x into y square plus x cube y cube, say, is equal to say 5 right so or for example let's remove this x cube right so in this case it is very difficult to express y in terms of x right so here this type of expression is called a implicit function right so what is implicit function an implicit function of x and y is an equation of the form f of x y equal to 0 which cannot necessarily be solved for one of the variables, say x in terms of the other variable, right? So when you are able to express the variables in terms of the other variables, any one of the variables in terms of the other variables, then it is an explicit relation and otherwise it is called an implicit relation, right? Now for example, x squared plus y squared plus a squared equal to 0. Now this is, from here you can easily extract y in terms of x or x in terms of y. So this is a case of a explicit expression. But if I give you some other variable, say here x into y, if I attach this, then it becomes a little tedious, right? So to calculate x in terms of y. So in that case, what can be done? How to differentiate these functions? So what are the derivatives of an implicit function? For any function f of x comma y, if you have to calculate the derivative dy by dx, then it can be calculated using, you put a negative sign in the numerator, you calculate the derivative of x, and in the denominator, you calculate the derivative of y. That means it is minus f of x upon f of y, provided f of y should not become equal to 0. And likewise, you can calculate the second derivative using the quotient rule. So that will turn out to be fy whole cube, a negative throughout, f of xx into fy square minus 2 fx fy into f of xy plus f of yy into f of x whole square, right? So to, the, to know the meanings of these functions, what is fx, what is fy, what is f of xy, f of xx, please watch my videos, previous videos on these topics, right? And again, the double derivative will only exist when f of y is not equal to z, right? Okay. So now let's take some examples. Now we have to calculate dy by dx for this function x into sine x minus y minus x plus y equal to 0. So here you can see that it is very difficult to extract x in terms of y or y in terms of x, right? So what is our dy by dx? dy by dx is simply assume the function to be f. Take the derivative with respect to x in the numerator and divide it by the derivative of f with respect to y. So let's put a negative sign over here and let's write the derivatives. So what is fx? Now here, these two functions are product functions. So we put x as it is. Derivative of sine x minus y is cos x minus y. Then we keep sine x minus y as it is and derivative of x is 1. And then finally, derivative of minus x is minus 1, right? Now, let's calculate the derivative with respect to y. So, here x is constant. Derivative of sine would be cos x minus y. And then derivative of x minus y would be a minus 1, right? Then we have minus derivative of y minus y is 1, right? So we can write this term as 1 minus x cos x minus y minus sine x minus y divided by 1 minus or uh, you can write here or you can do one thing you can take the minus sign and absorb it in the denominator 
So these two are with a plus sign and you will get here x cos x minus y plus 1. Right? So that is our dy by dx. Done. So let's take another function. Let us take x to the power y is equal to y to the power x. So how to do this question? <laughs> so let's do this. So let us take log and then let's assume the function. So when we take log on both sides, we will get log here and log here. So when you take all the terms on one side, you can define your function f of x comma y as y log x, right? We know the exponent rule minus x log y. Now I think it becomes very simple. So what is dy by dx? It is minus and then fx upon fy. So fx is y by x minus log y simply. And then what is the derivative with respect to y? It is log x minus x upon y. Right? So we can write it as log y minus y by x divided by log x minus x upon y. Right? <coughs> so it's simple. Okay. So now you can try this question. You have to find the derivative of dy by dx for the function x cube plus y cube equal to 3x squared. So you need to define the function f. So how to define the function f? You can define f as take all the terms on one side x cube plus y cube minus 3ax squared. And then you can always calculate dy by dx with minus fx upon fy. Right? So the function is simple enough. So you can take the derivative. And after doing the question, you will find that the derivative comes out to be 2ax minus x square divided by y square. Right? Okay. So try to do these questions. Right? So and do let me know if you faced any problems in the questions. Right? In the comment section. Thank you so much for listening the video. If you like the video, do hit the like button. And those of you who have not subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video. And believe in yourself and you will definitely succeed. Thank you so much.